Hello everybody and welcome back to my Colin McCree Dirt playthrough. We have Lucas Oil Core Pro 4 series in front of us today. We have four, uh, sorry, three races um, to take part in. Uh, I'll just go back. Last video I did, um, I did a little um, tidying up, and I was I didn't do a maximum difficulty. So but anyway, we have got two vehicles in front of us today. We have got the Chevy Silverado or the Toyota Tundra. Um, that is less horsepower per ton so we're going to avoid that one and uh, stick with the, the Silverado for now we've done it driven it a few times already so um, we should be pretty used to it by now and then once this is done we have the finale of this uh, playthrough left to do but we have three Pro 4 races to deal with first of all so let's get straight into that right then first of three races let's see what carnage we can cause Good start so far, not too much tagging, there it is, inevitable, but we're almost away in the lead there, we'll have to settle for, th oh, what a reset that is, really? I was going to say we'll have to settle for third, but no way, we're going to have to settle for ninth, what a start that was, terrible. Right, let's try and power through, I don't know, we've driven these for a while, might be, the, is there a Pro 2 in this game, I can't quite remember, but they're very, very rapid, these trucks. We're up the inside there, another couple of places. Make that three up to sixth at the moment. Uh, we've technically not started the race yet. This is that track where the start finish line isn't until, well, here. I think this is the start finish line here. So now we're on the first lap. So sixth place isn't too bad to start the race. But well, let's try and crack on and get first. I'm going to start with a dive up into fifth, though. Oh, on the brakes. Just, whoa, hello. Oh, we'll take fourth there. I was going to say on the brakes, it's just front side, man. It's all the bias seems to be at the front. But we're away now into fourth. Let's go catch the uh, the podium positions. Right, end of lap one. We're right at the back of the top three now. There is also a car that's actually retired somewhere. Um, uh, we'll maybe see that when we go around next time. Oh, we've just tagged third place there. But that's fine. We now have that position. Oh. Flipping heck man, we're right on the edge here, clipping so many signs and posts. It's not exactly what you want to be doing. And we've got second place just in front of us now. And then we've just got the leader just in front of him. It's actually round here that there is a car off the circuit somewhere. You will see it on the left very, very shortly. Yeah, you can see the dot on the map now at the top of the screen. The car is there on your left, just chilling at the side of the road with no front end basically. <laughs> So um, yeah, they did not have a very good start, but we're going to go for a dive bomb here. Right up the inside into second place. Right, we're right onto the back of the leader now. Around this section here, past the car that is dead at the side of the road. Right. It's been a little bit of a hard push to catch him. I think we're too far back for a dive, but we're going to we're going to chuck it anyway. I thought he'd maybe hold it right there outside of it. No, we've cut off the tight line that he was going to take, and that is us up into the lead with one more lap to go. Happy days. I do like these trucks and these events. They are pretty good. Good fun chucking the car about. There we are. Round across the line, kind of. <laughs> Flip an egg. We made an absolute meal of crossing that line there. I kind of forgot what lap we were on as well, but we've got the win. The only, I was going to say the only Silverado, but we're not. Um, we've got the win. Mike McCarthy in second place, not far behind us. So that is one down, two to go before we get onto the grand final of this playthrough. Race two on the grid. I've made a slight adjustment with the brake bias. Um, to see if it'll step the rear out more on the brakes rather than fronting into people. Whoa, getting tagged. Um, that'll probably backfire big time on me and I will get absolutely rinsed in the corners or something, but we'll see. If I can stop getting touched, that would be lovely. Thank you. Oh, flipping egg, man. So, we're on the bumps here now. Do we start on the outside and then we move over onto the inside? Oh, my word. Let's, um... Let's restart this event, pretend that never happened. Right, okay. 
let's, let's go again. Uh, obviously he's to the right this time. No, nope. we're still going to get pulled to the left. So, aye. Alright, oh, we don't do the bumps on the left at all. Okay, that's fine. I have done this circuit before in the in the trucks, I know that much, but uh, it must just be the buggy races that you use the bumps on the left hand side that are absolutely lethal. But anyway, anyway, we're away in fifth place at the moment in the trucky trucks, the Pro Forge. And uh, thankfully, we don't have to do those bumps on the start finish line on the, the inside because they are an absolute nightmare. But anyway, fourth place. I do like this circuit, and we'll see if we can get these top three as well. Oh, just got a nose up the inside there, that's forcing to go wide a little bit. There is bumps on the outside, but they're just not as lethal as those bumps on the left hand side. Anyway, up into th third place. The front two are not our competitors. I don't know where Mike McCarthy is. So at the moment, we're sitting pretty in this championship. But uh, once we get these first two positions, we'll be even prettier. Whoa, completely annihilated that corner there. We got such a good run. But uh, it wasn't to be because second place was. Um, oh, that's a wall. Second place was blocking the way. Right, we've still got another two laps to get something out of this. Right, we've got a bit of a run here over the bumps. Gonna hopefully get a second place into this left hander. Got our nose up the inside, but well, he's held it nicely around the outside, damn it all. It's proving quite tough to get first and second here. Looking at a tuning car bump and run, but it's not happening either. Might be able to do it here, we're a little bit closer now. There we go, dive on the brakes. Get it stopped just in time. I don't think we'll be able to get first place even if we do attack this perfectly. Which we didn't anyway, but no. Second place it's going to have to be here barring a mistake over these final couple of bumps. But that's fine, that guy ahead of us is not our championship rival. So we are all good to go at the moment. But yep, second place, we will take that. Top four, our rival is not there. Mike McCarthy finished fifth place, so... Um, I was saying that that car guy that finished second, uh, that one wasn't a rival, but he is now. He's only two points behind us, so it's all to play for on this final event. Let's see if we can hold it. Okay then, lining up on the grid for the final event of this Pro 4 Championship. We've got, um, was it Carl Rondevu or Ron, Ron, Ron de something that we've got to watch out for? Uh, we're somehow in the lead though. I did not expect to completely rinse everybody around <laughs> the opening start of that race. But yeah, this could be a nice simple four lap race here if we're, um, if we're lucky. But uh, we'll need to keep our wits about us. Anyone that's watched me race, whether it's this or something else, knows I am prone to many, many mistakes. So um, yeah. We're going to have to keep our wits about us. But anyway, we are away at the moment. Let's see if we can hold this. Oh! <laughs> there was one of the mistakes I was talking about. We almost rolled it halfway through lap one. That would have been an absolute disaster. There is a disaster there, though, on the inside of the circuit. Speaking of. But we're away at the moment. We're coming around to end lap one in first place. And I'm pretty sure it's that Carl guy behind us. And it's certainly it's not rendezvous. It is. Uh... Okay, he's not the top four. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what his surname is. Rendez is or something like that. But anyway, our championship rival is not in the top four. We can take it easy. Did I just see someone rolling towards me upside down? Did I? Am I making that up? I swear I just saw the underside of a Pro 4 truck coming flying for me there. I'll have to, I'll have to watch this back. <laughs> Round the last corner we go. Another easy win there. That one, that one was definitely not on any doubt at all. I think I was gifted it from lap 1. And then Carl for their 6th place. So, yeah. That was uh, a nice championship victory there. 
Um, that was quite a quick and easy one actually when you come to think about it. Um, what we'll do is, we're not going to go into the finale champion of champions just yet. We're gonna we're gonna have a we're gonna have a look at it. That'll be for the next video. But we're gonna go and take a little sneak peek and see what is involved because there looks like a few multi class events there. So tag you are champion of champions multiple. So the summary eligible vehicles the races so you're given. Okay, so for the rally cross, you're given the Sitanzara. Um, you've then got the Super Pretz, which will be a rally, um, I imagine. Mitsubishi Montero, T1 race, obviously. Sitan C4 concept car. I guess in just another rally again. Uh, Toyota Tacoma, and then Toyota Tundra. So, let's jump into it and have a look. So, it gives you the cars, doesn't it? Right, okay, I'm not allowed to to do anything with them. Fair enough, right then, well, that is that, that will be um, what is going to come up in the next video, so be sure to stick by the channel for that and we will complete this playthrough once and for all, I have a lot of montage coming as well from, uh, from it, so yeah, stick by the channel and we'll see you all very very soon for the Champion of Champions career finale, see you later.